Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So I am here filming a super exciting video. At least I'm excited for it. I am filming my first impressions and swatches on the new Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, which is this beautiful palette right here. Kat Von D designed this whole thing herself. I mean, I think she always designs the packaging on her products. But yeah, this one I think she did an exceptional job with. It's absolutely stunning. It looks like a cathedral door. You've got the saint side and the sinner side. And then on the back here, you've got all of the different eyeshadows names, which is super helpful and just really beautiful for the outside packaging. And this is the inside right here, an amazing array of shades. It did look a little jumbled to me at first, but then um, I think it was Jay Kissa. Jay Kissa? I don't know. I watched a bunch of videos, but she said if you close one side, it actually makes a lot more sense. Um, like the colors make more sense to their individual side. So this is the saint side right here. Uh, and then you close this side and this is the center side. But of course you can just mix and match all of the colors. But if you're feeling a little overwhelmed looking at it, you can definitely just close one of the flaps. And I think this is probably the first like makeup palette that I'm actually going to put on display because it's just so pretty. I never ever keep any makeup on display, but this one I'm going to. I'm going to put it right on top of my drawers. It's just going to sit there. Yeah, it's super pretty. So let's just hop right into the inside of the palette. So whenever I'm thinking of getting a new palette, something that I always like to do is just kind of go through on the Sephora website or whatever website it's on and just kind of count the number of shades that I know I'll use and then count the number of ones that I don't think I'll use that often and then that kind of helps me factor in if I actually want to purchase the palette or not and for this one there was only I think like two shades that I was kind of unsure about which is really amazing normally in a palette there's I don't know five that I know I won't use and I still end up buying it but this one didn't have that many um, the only two that I was kind of on the fence about were Ashes and Baptism down here. So Baptism, the only reason I don't think I'll use it very often is it's a matte, like, very light pink purple. And I think it's meant to be like a brow bone shade, but then they've also got um, this one right here, Amen, or Amen, whatever. Um, and this is like a yellow brow bone shade, which is definitely more suited to my tone like skin tone so I just don't think I'll use baptism that much it's not like I could use it in the crease because it's way too light so it's a I don't know not one that I'm going to use that often and then ashes up here is a very light brown but it's got it's like a matte brown but it has a micro shimmer like green teal micro shimmer in it which sounds really stunning but I don't know when you swatch it the micro shimmers just don't show up as much but they're still there so you couldn't use it as a transition shade as much because there's still going to be those micro shimmers, but I don't know, I just can't see myself using this color very much. But that's just me. It is, it's pretty, so if you guys can find a use for it, obviously use it, but for me, only having two shades that I don't think I'll use very often is amazing, especially for how many you get in here, so I definitely picked this palette up. Obviously, it's in my hands right now, but yeah. And then I'm obviously going to do swatches in a minute, but I just wanted to go over a few of my favorite shades from the palettes. So my favorites would have to be Stigmata. This one reminds me a lot of the eyeshadow in the Kat Von D and Too Faced Better Together palette. And the reason I didn't pick that one up is because Swoon, which is the eyeshadow that this reminds me of, was the only eyeshadow that I actually wanted from that palette. And there's no point in purchasing a palette if you only want one shade, so... That's why I didn't get that, but Stigmata is super similar to Swoon, which is really nice. Then these two colors right here, these two mattes, are really amazing. Like, I did a look right here using Devil, and it is so pigmented, it goes on the eye really, really nicely. Um, and then Martyr right here is just a beautiful, like, I don't know, poopy brown yellow shade, which I actually really like for the crease. Rapture up here, which is a beautiful, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost got like a gold pink shift to it. It's beautiful. It doesn't go on the eye as well as it swatches, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think when you use a little bit of Fix Plus, you could probably get it to look a lot more like it is in the pan. It's just such a beautiful color. But these two shades up here, I think are meant to be like toppers. So you would just put those over the top of eyeshadow because they're a little bit more glittery than the rest of them. 
Like the rest of the eyeshadows go on really smoothly, but then these two are more glitter toppers. My other favorite shades would have to be this one right here. It's just a beautiful duochrome shade, which goes from like a teal to a brown. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I honestly love the mattes in here. They've got Amen, Sabbath, and Crucifix. So you've got like a brown, white, and black, which are just absolute staples when you're trying to do any sort of eye look, which is really nice having all of these different colors because you could pop any of the colors on the lid, but still have your basic matte shades to do your crease work and your brow bone shades with, so that's super nice. And they just swatch really beautifully, so I'll swatch a few of my favorites right now. I don't know which ones I should do. All right, well, these are a few of my favorite ones right here. So I just love the silvers in this palette. I love the warm tones. And that duochrome one that I talked about is really stunning as well. So there's that. But I will be doing swatches of all the shades in just a second. And I also just wanted to quickly mention before I jump into the swatches that I will be doing another video. So I'm not doing a tutorial in this one, but I'm doing a three looks, one palette video, which should be going up in a couple of days. I'm filming that today as well. So I'm going to put up the review first, which is obviously what you're watching right now, and then the three looks using just this palette will be going up in just a few days. And let's just jump right into the swatches. too much else to say about this palette. Um, I basically bought it for the packaging and fell in love with the shades. They they really surprised me. Not that I thought that they would be bad quality at all, but I'm just really, really loving them. So I'm pleasantly surprised at how much I like the palette. And I definitely recommend you guys going out and swatching it for yourselves if you can. 